Uh, oh, there he is. Alright guys, DZ here. First of all, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to like fight versus like squads. So like four versus ones, three versus ones, two versus ones, stuff like that. How to do that. But um before I tell you that, I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button right now. I need to get to one thousand subs by the end of the summer. That's my goal. Please help me out. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, guys. So how to fight versus squad when you're by yourself. I do it all the time. Yes, there's a, people who are a lot better than me, but they don't tell tell you how to do it. And uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys like my tips. All right, so the first thing, it's just the number one rule when fighting, when fighting a squad, is this is pretty like open, but it's create one versus ones. Do not shoot when there's two people shooting at you. Okay, create the one versus one. Okay, so by that I mean like create angles where it's just a small angle like so say a, a whole squad's pushing you you're in, you're in like a one by one place a wall in front of you you got that wall from both sides this and that you got both sides of you the wall is facing in front of you. you pick someone off to the side pick them off to the side so you got a 1v1 you can shoot one player the only person that can shoot back at you is that one player that's the only time you should take a fight is when it's a one versus one you're gonna have to be comfortable hitting your shots hitting the headshots killing as quickly as possible the absolute key to fighting in a two versus one three versus one or four versus one is to kill as quickly as possible the faster you kill the faster you can get on to killing the next guy the fast the if you would take long to kill someone that's just more time for one of the other players to start shooting at you okay kill someone quick build fight the next person kill them as quick attack people do not wait for them to push you if they push you they're going to be synchronized create chaos so once you create chaos find the one versus ones be comfortable in the chaos that's all you have to do to kill these guys yes there's gonna be times where it doesn't work out something bad's going to happen that happens in even solos okay that's all you have to do create chaos create the one v ones attack people yes everyone loves staying at the high ground shooting down shooting down on people but if the whole squad is spraying down your base you're not gonna be able to survive you have to attack people get in where get off close and personal shotgun them in the face kill them as fast as you can move on to the next guy it's just all about moving on to the next guy okay make sure the only person when you shoot them is the person that you're shooting at do not have for a firing squad shooting at you all at once and if, if that happens to you you just gotta build push people if you have to push a squad push a squad get close on someone kill one build regroup Find the next opening to kill one guy just keep killing one guy it's just you only have to kill one guy four times that's all it is or three times or two times so like that's pretty much like the only thing you have to do to kill the squads and like fortnite is making it a lot harder to solo versus squad because they got rid of like the double shotgun and stuff and the double shotgun was really good for fighting squads because you could just double pump someone and they would be dead like like that if you hit two headshots on them so then you can just move on to the next guy and build but now you have to shotgun someone either twice with the same shotgun or you know uh use an smg which takes longer and like why it's so bad to take longer is because when you take longer that gives the other guys more opportunity to shoot at you so say there's one guy shooting two guys shooting at me i push one of the guys create the one we want kill him as fast as possible then i can build make sure i'm not getting shot by the other guy but if it takes me a longer time to kill that guy that gives the other guy more time to shoot at me. You see what I'm saying? So kill people as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Okay? And I know everyone tries to do that all the time. But you just got to attack. Get up close and personal. Hit your shots. You just have to hit your shots as well. All right, guys. So that's pretty much how you do it. It takes a lot of practice. You need to be good at building because you need to know like how to create the angles and stuff. Snipers, snipers are your best friend. Okay? Because if you can... If you are getting pushed by a squad, you can headshot someone with a sniper. That's just one less person you have to worry about. You kill someone, if you kill someone, you push, okay? If you kill someone, you push, okay? Because especially if you snipe someone. If you snipe someone, they're going to build, right? One of the teammates is going to start reviving the guy. That's a one versus two then. Fight the one versus two, okay? That's all, that's like... I mean, yeah, solo versus squads, no matter what, is really hard. Even the best players in the world have hard times with it. But that's what they do. That's what I do. That's how you, uh, you know, get the job done as efficiently as possible. Yeah, it's not going to work every time. Nothing works every time, not even in solos. But 
you know, that's the, it's, you're going to give yourself the best chance to win.